He says, like, call, like, in the morning or at night. So there's no secretary. That was that was pretty cool. I was like, damn. But Tim Cook's like, fuck. Now I need a 24-7 secretary. Who um, gave you my number? I mean, I read a book, dude. I read, I read a book from 07, and they were like, yo, uh, just call in the morning of someone that you admire to be. Let me tell you something about reading, young man. It's bullshit. You need to be on your phone more. No, no. iPhone. Definitely don't read as many books as you can a day, bro. <laughs> Even that, that was interesting though. In 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 that in the Ferris book, he was like, um, I, I get with like the information porn overload, but he was like, Yeah, dude, don't read too much. And I get that at some extent, but like mastering like a space and knowing all about it, it's like I I'd, I'd veer on the side of read a lot. Yeah. Reading's cool. But I do understand the, like the over information porn. Like at some point, it's kind of just a point of no return where you're like, okay, you're just trying to jerk off your brain and show people that you do things. I feel like he was talking about don't read like bullshit. Sure. You know. Well, like I don't. Like I don't. That. I don't know. In my head, I was like, I don't know. Like you're talking like about stuff newspapers and stuff. I mean, like I guess like stuff that doesn't like ap- really apply to your life. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he, uh, yeah, he was like, if if you can't do something with it immediately, then like, what do you do? But another thing is like, if you're reading like someone who has somewhat mastered what field you're doing, you're in taking years of knowledge of someone. You're, pro- yeah. you're literally just trying to find like one to like five phrases that will give you a little like boost in whatever you're trying to do. Yeah. True. And this speed reading thing is freaking hard, bro. Yeah, I'm I'm okay at it, but also I'm not. Use audio audiobooks. It's you're definitely not using your brain to hear the words, <laughs> but uh, it, you can go super fast. But then I try to. I was trying to read um a, a Dalio book, and it was pretty freaking dense. Um, but like I was trying to go a little bit fast, and I was like, okay, I can't. I'm not in taking this heavy information. But I think that was a little bit of a different case. But these audiobooks. I feel like my brain is just being flushed of gunk when I'm not looking at a screen. Oh. It's like stretching. If I'm like reading too much or like sometimes I feel like it might be like detrimental to the head. Yesterday, I was on the computer for literally from, I think, 10 to when I went to work at 6. I, I looked at the computer, and I felt like shit the entire, like, I did. I was editing a video straight, and I just felt like shit. And then walking outside, I felt like a person. Yeah. I too. But I was like, I was craving to read something, but I didn't have time. Mm. Audiobooks in the morning, dude. What's your commute? Uh, time not that much five to ten minutes on a skateboard Great. i fucking i love i love not driving to work it's the best thing ever i got offered another job yesterday and i it was like two or three dollars higher pay per hour and i said no just because i didn't want to drive it's like it's not even not even a little bit worth it fuck off i <laughs> when i skateboard I go over the freeway and I look at the dense traffic. It's like a parking lot. I'm like, fuck you guys, bitch. I'm almost yeah. home. Yeah. That is a giant thing. Horrible. I feel comfort so bad for my coworkers. Your employed comfort of like your, because he's Ferris was talking about that too. He was talking about remote stuff way back when, dude. I remember I had a homie, an internet homie, and it was like COVID, like 2020. And um, I was talking to him and he, was doing like freelance remote work and i was like how do you how are you getting like remote stuff and he's like dude i've been doing this for a few years it's just like a spreadsheet of companies that are looking for remote people that being said these companies are going to use working remote as their opportunity to kick out all of you stupid humans and cut their costs down 5x so that's right so get your skills up so use our uh course code skill set uh, to learn something that can get you a job either we teach photoshop video editing you know shit that a robot won't probably won't be able to do in the 
short term future, uh, but long term for sure. <laughs> yeah, but like do something that like if you're scanning you groceries, you gotta fucking like come on, like learn some learn to do something. But I highly, I highly recommend if I you can not driving to work or getting a remote job or something. My mental health has increased tenfold. Yeah, but not sitting in my car. Literally anybody right now can probably get a remote job. Just lie on your resume, be a little bit young, and be like, yo, I've been to social media ad. If and if if you watch five minutes of ads if you watch six minutes of kind of leveraging social media and get like nerdy about it be like oh you got to blah 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 blah. old people don't know bro. if you're old and you think your age will hinder you from getting a job just lie just say you're 25 anybody <laughs> trying to get a job okay literally just lie Okay. Dude, I was I was looking for a person to hire, dude. I dead ass didn't even look at this. Oh, this is kind of bad. I dead ass didn't even look at this guy's resume because he was like fifty five. Yeah, I, that's, yeah. It kind of sucks. Yeah, and I was like, dude, if he was like, if he just said he was twenty five or something, because I, I'm probably never gonna talk to him. Like, so it really doesn't matter. Like, I just need him to do it. But it was uh, bad. U.S. dude or no? Nah, he was in the Philippines. Let's see, I mean. Yeah, that's what that's what I mean. That's what the application process is, really. It's a lot of <laughs> judgment. I cut the brakes on my one of my projects that I was doing because I found out that I will not be able to get AdSense revenue from it. Mm. So I was like, OK, for what cause? For what cause? Why would you not be able to? Uh, apparently, Google AdSense doesn't like uh approving blogs about celebrities because they find it porn well it's like they say like eyes aren't like reading it long enough like people usually stay on it for like 30 seconds and then click away so they want like content that like people stay on for at least a couple minutes so it's like okay that makes sense let me let me just cut my losses here and so try something that, else. that's what the you know hours of market research dude yeah, I should have fucking researched that before I paid someone for a month, but whatever. It's yeah. had to fire her. And she was like, Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. On your next project, I'm willing to work for you for free for a little bit. I was like, You are the best. Thanks. Fairs. I would definitely pay her, but yeah, it was chill. I mean, if if it's the same space, then you could probably use the same person. Yeah, and she could do other stuff too. I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Nice, nice. Kind of what, fucking... what is what is the company that you're using? If you want to put that out, I don't know. Uh, onlinejobs.ph. It's the website. I would think that would give someone else an edge over you. Maybe them using that, but you know, actually, hey, help people. I, have, I think I probably have like an affiliate link somewhere. Like, solid. You guys want to use it? I was trying to put up a link for. Uh, I saw <laughs> I saw Dorian go in with the Coinbase affiliate, That's dude. Awesome. Fucking Dorian, dude. I love that. He's, he's I love it too. The thing about him, dude, he's so like confrontational, dude. Like I'm looking through his comments. Yeah, yeah. And someone like said something, and the person was right, and the guy and Dorian literally just said, "You're stupid." I'm like, "What the fuck, dude?" One, I think that's just marketing for for engagement. But two, also, I think that is kind of how he is. So it's like you're putting how your personality is into your business. But it is engagement. If you get if you it, bro, if you get people arguing in comments. Thank yeah, you. Thank <laughs> you. I fucking go to the guy's fucking Instagram page, and the guy like works at a bank or something. I'm like, <laughs> Bro, come on! Like, was it under the she post? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was like, oh, just because you have a, a billion shares or something doesn't mean anything with ROI. And like, Darren's <laughs> like, you're slow, and I'm like, yeah. I love oh, it. Dude. Dude, he's he was honestly there's there's been a few people that have really like he was really the origin of like getting an entrepreneurial mindset in me like him and like earn your leisure and, and like ian dunlap and i think i'm pretty sure i might have i was trying to think of what i got eyl from it might have been dorian i'm not sure but um, i think i've always had it in me even back in the day when i used to make youtube videos as a wee boy i was always like bro if i could get somebody to just do a rough cut of this edit to save me some time that would like but i never was i never was able to get money from it and but if i had someone that like works with me and put out the output i would literally pay them tenfold you know in the future when you're making products 
then you're like, okay, how do I do this product more efficiently? I think anybody that's making something in some weird brain thing is like, all right, how am I, how can I do this better? Or even writing, bro. I hated writing scripts to talk. So watching my videos back in the day, they were, they were some good shit. You know, what actually was also another entrepreneurial thing was, was listening to the music I was listening to and they were making their own labels and I was like, hell yeah, dude. I, I remember talking to homies about to Jay Gala one day on the beach. I was like, yo, I'm, you make music, bro. No, I'll just, I'll do the rest, my guy. And that was fun. Damn. <laughs> and engineering class, shout out engineering class with Wenzel, dude. That was a typo. And it said how to make a website. But I type out how to make a Winslow. And then it was just a circle jerk of weird stuff. And he, that teacher too was honestly really good. Um, and thinking about like kind of life and systems, uh, Mr. Olson, shout out. He was like a, he's like a green beret, which is like a weird, intense part of the military, like, um, I think Navy. And he did not, <laughs> he was not a dope teacher because he just was trying to do his own thing. But he was, he had some good systems that were good tips. Shout out Mr. Wong, too. He's trying to get his wine business off the ground while he's supposed to be teaching. Yeah, he was coding apps and stuff. <laughs> it was like, we went in and he was like, what he did, he, he was like gamifying curriculum. So he was like, you do this, you get these many points, and then blah, blah, blah. Um, and then at the end of the semester or whatever, the year, if you have this many points, then, uh, <laughs> then you get some more stuff. But he, he didn't have like, he wasn't super all in in it. Like we would just go in and he'd be on his computer and like say nothing and we'd just be chilling. Teaching is like the worst fucking job to have. You're trying to do a side hustle because you got to fucking pay attention at your job and like do it. Yeah. You yeah. can like it takes hours plus the hours after mold the minds of the youth. Well, you can't be fucking do other shit. Yeah. A little bit. Or you like, I don't know do some kind of business and you're like hey kids this is what i did but not really i i a long time ago um i got andrew yang's smart people should build things book and mm -hmm. I, i'm re-listening to that it's kind of dry and it's kind of just because he made a non-profit about i think he just he wanted to make people to make businesses instead of going to like finance and like doctoring. Um, yeah. And it's kind of a dry read, but I feel like it's there's some pertinent stuff in there. It's kind of just stories as well. So it's not super like informational off top, but freaking Yang, dude. I feel like he still has some chance to make some politic waves, but he really uh, not winning that government joint didn't, didn't do him any favors. Everyone in LA is like, oh, thank you. God, Newsom didn't get recalled. I'm just like, oh, tell me one good thing Newsom's done for California, and I'll shut up. Be like, well, he's, 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 he's a Democrat. I'm like, okay, you know, other Democrats ran too, right? What? For a recall? Yeah. I'm just like, like I don't know. People just. That being said, I'm sure that everybody has one at least a couple good things they did for a government thing. I'm sure that's not zero thing. I'm sure no, I'm sure he has done good things. My point is people don't know. People just like assume, oh, he is the better choice because he is a Democrat. Solid argument. Yeah. I believe you that. know, like I'm saying like people just are just freaking politic circle jerking. Yeah. It's like yeah. God. Less objective, more just I like this side. Yeah, and then you you say anything else, and people are like, "Whoa, okay, Hitler." I'm like, <laughs> God damn! And then you say, "I don't know, man. Hitler really brought up the economy." <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, dude, okay. I was, uh, I, I was actually gonna bring up something about Hitler. There's a, I was reading in, is in the Dalio book, um, and I was watching a, a documentary about, uh, I think it was just like history of money, but it was like why you, you think of the Jewish stereotype, you think of money. And it was because that Christians couldn't lend credit to Christians because they didn't want their own like homies to be indebted to them. And even like you, you talk about like Catholic 
and you went to Catholic. You, did you say the thing about debtors? If we did, I didn't pay attention. Maybe it's a different thing. I know my my uncle or something is like some not some weird sect, but some kind of different Christian thing. And they have a thing they say like forgive my debtors. I think mm. that goes back to Christians one weren't allowed to lend credit to Christians um, because they didn't want to be indebted. So Jewish people were the ones who could lend credit. And then that has to goes back to Jewish ghettos and kind of being like outcast and a lot of like the violence towards Jewish in the past was because of like debt servicing. I thought that was super interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, dude. Debt, oh. credit, big, and it's also small. But it's all the same system of a cycle, whether you're a government or a person. Except people can't really print their own currency. But if you're a different country and you're not, and you're indebted to a currency that's not yours, dude, I think that's deflationary. I'm getting scared. <laughs> Your wrist hurts. It's so big. Oh, yeah? It's getting, it's getting bigger. Give me a little comparison. It's getting bigger? Should I go to the doctor? I mean, did you fall? No, I didn't do anything. You've already seen it get bigger? It's like... It's that's just like, you, it's like it's swollen. Weird. It is weird how your body knows, like, yo, you should be feeling this is bigger than what it normally is. Uh, I touch it, it kind of hurts. Hmm. You probably fell. Because that's not arthritis. Arthritis isn't going to just, like, pop up one day and hurt. I don't know. I literally didn't do anything. Well, I don't know, man. I, I I ate some old sales sushi and waited a day to eat it. And then I was diarying for a lot of days. And I was like, what did I eat? That's making me poo run. And I didn't think of the sush. And what's the sush? Well, maybe you're thinking of something deep in your mind, but you just can't think of it yet. You got to think of it. Recording on Ableton. I'm scared. Should I go to the hospital? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Not to lose my health insurance. Ugh. Yeah, that's a bummer. Fuck. Perfect timing, right? I mean, I still got to do mine because I'm right now I'm not on health insurance. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Buy some. Yeah, I have I have the app, but it's like uh, in your head, it's like, oh, I'm super healthy. Uh, uh, maybe I don't need to rush anything. I'm just afraid of getting hurt. I ride without a helmet. Oh. You get dumb ass. Yeah, I also have not even that much risk <laughs> physically. I'm at high risk every day. I'm just zooming by LA cars. Almost got hit by a car yesterday, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You should I mean you have health insurance right now. For the next couple of days. You gotta find like a broker too. I only I only knew like a health insurance broker because it was a plug from a family member. That's funny. There's a there's brokers for health insurance. It's probably one of the biggest things, dude. I don't even can you like hit up freaking sharp and be like, yo, can I get in a health insurance app? And they're like, Yeah, dude, why didn't you hit us up? And I was like, I, I, this is not my story, but this is what someone would say. They'd say, like, I don't know. I thought it was some kind of weird thing. I got my wisdom teeth out on Monday. You have dental insurance? Yeah. $4,000 operation cost me like 100 bucks. But it's still, you're paying for that. You are. But also, while I was in there, I was looking around. I'm like, bro, all this shit looks fucking expensive, dude. Yeah. And also, I want the guy that's reaching into my mouth, pulling my teeth and putting me under to like, yeah, have experience and be well paid to like give a shit. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like, help, if, help if he help. fucks up a little bit, that could really impact my life. <laughs> and I asked when I was getting the x ray, I was like, yo, how much does this thing cost? Like, it was like, uh, it's $30,000 and it's $400 a scan. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, the per people that made this are probably very smart. Yeah. Do I remember? I wasn't in the dentist for a minute and I went back for like kind of the one that I've gone to a lot. Um, and there's a new, it was a new doctor that was like the head of it and uh, they had new x-ray stuff and it's like digital and like cool. And I was like, huh, you guys were really, uh, 
because you know the thing they like developed like you put it in and they developed the like x-rays mm. yeah like the black x-ray they, like they put, you put the thing in your mouth yeah but kind of like years ago and then they took oh, it yeah, yeah. and then uh, they had to go develop it or, yeah yeah and i was in the dentist and that was like all i knew about like that's all i did for x-rays was they they literally go in the back and develop it i think yeah Maybe they give you jaw cancer yeah <laughs> then i was like then they're like yeah we have this freaking so the new doctor is young and he loves tech and stuff i'm like oh that's dope and they're taking x-rays and they go straight to a screen and i was like you guys were really like developing film in the back weren't you and they were like yeah i'm like oh that's absurd <laughs> yeah you hear that big <laughs> it takes the picture <laughs> you have to have a lead vest i mean you still do yeah, but now it's just like that's your skull holy shit I, they literally took a 3d scan of my head yeah and they're like hey yo this is your skull in 3d i'm like christ I, mean, I was sitting there and i was like i never realized how freaking arcane you guys were doing with your x-rays and homie's just like fucking showing me my teeth with a digital camera i'm like oh yeah i see that my guy <laughs> yeah in real time yeah it's just like all gross and in your mouth and he's like yeah see right there see yeah. right there dude that's a freaking crowd <laughs> imagine you're in another country that's just a little bit less developed yeah how different it would be and probably more risky with health oh yeah people should invest in time and health health is a thing health is wealth feeling good is priceless not me dude i got 90 bill in the bank not the big 90 bill in the investments but my but i can't leave my bed <laughs> not only is my soul broken and my my heart crushed but i also cannot move most of my body and my eyes my eyes don't work shout out norm mcdonald did, did you ever watch norm mcdonald comedy i didn't know who he was until he died did you watch any of his comedy actually i was last night oh, sean was showing me yeah yes or no uh, I could see the appeal. Were you watching stand up? Uh no, he was just showing me like interviews with like Conan O'Brien or something. Yeah, yeah. I love those things, dude. I liked it. And Sean, like, he literally said a joke and mid joke. I was like, bro, Sean, you told me this joke. I thought it was original. <laughs> Which one was it? The really long joke. And he's like, What are you, one of them gays? I don't know that one. That's the punchline. That's wanna... just awkward. Was there like, was what? a 